Hello and welcome to my tech fan. In this video I will try to engrave some stainless steel with this uh, budget laser engraver, uh, Ortho Laser Master. Uh, I have this laser master now more than half years and uh, I use it quite regularly and but I never use it on the metal. Only in the review uh, video I try to engrave some uh, metal plates without success. And then one of the comments suggests me to use the mustard I thought it's a, it was a joke, but then I did some search on the internet and uh, I will try uh, these three new methods. I hope at least one will be successful, otherwise I will not upload this video. So I will try to use again this marker. This was provided with the Auto Laser Master and uh, officially they suggest to, to mark the area with this marker and use the uh, laser on that area. The second method will be the mustard and the third is the vinegar and I will try to engrave I don't know this uh, line marking caliper and this knife it is important to pay attention to a few things if you want to engrave metal it will act like a mirror so it, uh, the reflection may damage the uh, module itself so we have to mark uh, cover the surface with some uh, matte uh, material and of course the other is always based where I protection. Set the focus here on the lens. I can adjust the height of the model, or I can put something below the legs of the laser. One last check of the boundaries and start engraving. Now let's see if there's anything visual. Okay, it's there. Very light. But marker with stainless steel works. Well, the next time you try the mustard. Try to spread it equally, but in very thin layer. Not perfect, I can see it's, it's unequal because of the different uh, layer of the mustard on the stainless steel. But yes, it works. And the last test, the vinegar. I decided to try this material too. It's based on this article by Rubber Soul 79 The link is in the description to this article. The 
because I cannot spray the vinegar equally on the stainless steel, so uh, I place this uh, paper towel in, in uh, vinegar and uh, it's on a stainless steel, so it will protect the diet from the reflection and it's spread equally. Okay, now last test. Okay, quick boundary check and start engraving. Nothing visually outside. No, nothing visually. After paper tower removed. Okay, so vinegar doesn't left any sign of the mark. Okay, so these three methods, mustard is the best, so I'll try to engrave my name here, but I will give it, I don't know, the two or three passes to get stronger text. This was the first pass and I will give it a second pass too. Looks good on mustard, but let's clean it. So Mustard method works. Great. First pass on 50 mm per second, and I will give you the second pass now. I wasn't sure that I will success before this experiment, so from these three methods the mustard works the best. Of course uh, it is very important to, to uh, spread it uh, equally, the, the layer, and it would be good if that layer is very thin on the stainless steel. And of course always wear uh, eye protection and the best results I got between 50 and 100 millimeters per minute uh, laser speed with maximum power which is in my case uh, 15 watts, well actually the real strength of the laser itself is 4.5 uh, there is a, a stronger version 5.5 uh, but at least uh, two passes are required to be something visible it's not so strong but, but it's there so theoretically this experiment is kind of success I'm not sure how durable is this uh, engraving, but uh, so far looks good and I cannot clean it more uh, with the paper towel. Any suggestions are welcome. I hope this was interesting or useful. Thank you for watching and happy engraving. And just for the end, this is how it looks like after one washing with the dishwashing machine.